Hi everyone, it's Emily, and this is my second first YouTube video. Let's chat. So basically, last year I created a YouTube video that was like... And uh, then I posted one other one of just like me and my friends going to a pumpkin patch. Then I stopped. Okay, here's the thing. I made more videos, but I was too scared to post them because I am insecure. I, like, f was kind of bullied <laughs> for uh, creating a YouTube channel, and so I was like, I didn't want to be made fun of. I really cared what people thought of me, and I still do, so hopefully I can make one more than two videos this time. Um, but no, I actually really want to stick with it because this has always been my dream and I'm like, you know what? It's now or never. If I don't do this now, I'm gonna regret it for my whole life. Ugh. I'm exhausted. So anyways, this is my like official new relaunch, re revamping my channel first video. So I wanted to keep this video short and sweet, but I also wanted to give you something interesting because just me being like, people is not interesting so um basically we're gonna talk about what it's like going to college during covid hmm I'm so ugly so i'm a sophomore i didn't even say that at the beginning i'm really good i'm a sophomore um and i am an elementary education major with a french minor one thing that's really different is the fact that you can't like go in other people's dorms like last year we would constantly be going into our friends rooms and stuff like that to hang out but now i mean people still do but you're not supposed to and i'm a rule follower so i don't however the good thing is that i'm rooming um i'm in a pod of seven people so there's a lot of people i get to hang out with all the time and some of my best friends are in here so that's really fun Another thing is that the food sucks. For some reason, COVID has made food terrible, I guess, um, because we have so many less options this year and like it's all takeout, which is fine. But for some reason, like all, it's bad and we just kind of eat it and like feel sorry for ourselves. Uh, I haven't had fruit or vegetable in like two weeks. Um, that's my fault though. <laughs> Everyone else it does. I just don't. Oh, another thing is that like, um, at least for me, I've been having mental breakdowns like every day. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm gonna be super like open and honest about mental health and stuff um, on this channel because I definitely want to break the stigma that there is around talking about mental health and like it's literally your brain is part of your body you need to go to the doctor for it like it's not a bad thing. I have very bad anxiety and being in the middle of a pandemic at a school with a bunch of other people you know is um a little stressful after being at home for six months quarantining so let me tell you anxiety attacks bound to happen nights that you're just gonna cry bound to happen times that you just say what is life bound to happen existential crisis bound to happen another thing is pretty obvious but you have to wear a mask everywhere um i've got lots of reusable masks those are only a few of them and then i've also got some disposable masks the weirdest thing about wearing a mask is like if you're in a class and somebody just starts talking most of the time you can't tell who it is because like you can't see their mouth moving or anything like i'm just bored oh. that's another thing you are bored all of the time like because there's not you can't like go places and stuff and so you're like there's just nothing to do except kind of sit in your room and like watch movies and tv shows and do homework so um, why am I cutting off my finger right now? So obviously college is very different because of COVID-19 and um, I'm just lucky to be on campus because a lot of people, um, their schools were already sent home and stuff like that. So I'm just happy to be on campus and staying safe. Okay, why do I keep going like this? I'm not a freaking news reporter. Oh. 
also I don't know what's gonna be on this channel basically I just have to get over myself and start making videos because I nobody cares like stop Emily like stop thinking everyone hates you and thinks you're weird because you're making YouTube videos and then they're gonna bully you and then you're gonna stop making YouTube videos and then you're gonna be upset again and then you're gonna have to restart because you're gonna be super upset that you didn't do it again <sighs> and then you're gonna die so basically I'm just gonna um try not to think of what other people think of me which is impossible something else I want to do at the end of every video if I remember is um, I want to give an organization or like a website or something uh, that will either educate the people that are watching my videos on something that's going on in the world or it could be a place where you can donate um, just remember to always try and make a difference our world is crazy right now there's so many people um, in such terrible situations I'm very privileged I'm very lucky to be where I am um, and so I just want to use any tiny tiny platform if anyone even watches this to make a difference so check the description down below after each video but at the end i will explain what it is for this week to start off i'm just going to put a link to um an incredible article it's called white privilege by peggy mcintosh it's one of my favorite f articles ever it really makes you um think about you are privileged no matter um, what gender, race, anything you are, and it really just puts everything into perspective for you, and I really s highly suggest reading it and sharing it with others. Okay, well, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Remember to be nice to people and spread positivity. You matter. I love you. I'm going to post another video this week, and it's going to be fantastic, so stay tuned. Bye! I can't believe I just did the Debbie Ryan.